Hey, what's going on you guys? Matt here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade topical solution for blocking DHT and stopping inhibiting 5-alpha reductase enzyme. 5-alpha reductase is responsible for the conversion from testosterone to DHT and this DHT is causing the miniaturization of your hair follicles. So if you're ready, let's start with the video. Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Matt and you are watching my hair transplant channel, which is all about things like stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. Hey, but before I start with the video, make sure you get my free ebook, five things I wish I'd known before my hair transplant, which can give you some insights, some good tips on how to find a good hair transplant clinic and what is important to know before you get a hair transplant. And for all the new guys who have never watched any videos on my channel, welcome. Please subscribe, like this video and also apply for my consultation call where I'm going to help you find the best hair transplant transplant clinic for your type of hair loss, for your selected price range, the budget that you are willing to spend and I'm going to advise you the best way I can. So make sure you apply in the description below before I proceed with this video today. Now before I start with the video today, I just want to let you know that I'm not a medical advisor. This is not a certified medical advice. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor or anything. This is just based on my opinion based on my hair loss research and I just wanted to let you know that these ingredients I'm about to introduce to you are worth trying out for everybody who has hair loss. I'm not telling you try it out, I'm gonna tell you I'm about to try it out, I'm about to show you how to mix it and try it out yourself, okay? Because I think it's worth it guys. So the main ingredient of this compound is zinc and before I mix it for you here I just want to talk briefly about zinc and its role in hair loss. Well, I found these two studies on zinc. Uh, they were made even before 2000 and the results are quite astonishing, guys. Uh, the results suggest that after using and applying the zinc topically on a skin tissue, almost 100% inhibition of 5 alpha reductase was observed. Again, there was also azelaic acid and vitamin B6 in the solution, which kind of helped zinc to inhibit 5-alpha reductase even better. And that's why I'm going to also combine it with vitamin B6 in this uh, demonstration. I'm not going to use azelaic acid because I want to only kind of prove whether zinc has such potential or not to block 5-alpha reductase or to inhibit 5-alpha reductase. What will you need to mix this topical solution for blocking 5-alpha reductase? Well, you need a scale and we are going to start with distilled water, guys. All the credits go to hair loss forum or hair loss talk. So credits to warm. Again, if you're watching, uh, make sure you say hi in the comments below so we can get to know you. And now let's start mixing this solution. So again, 45 milliliters of distilled water, no ionized water, no spring water, distilled water. There you go, 45 milliliters. You can buy it in a Walmart, you can buy it at any grocery store for like one or two dollars. Very, the cheapest ingredient probably. What we will use now is uh, 15 milliliters of ethyl alcohol. 60% or 70%. And I know you guys, many of you will be like, Matt, why are you using alcohol? Uh, it's gonna dry out your scalp, it's gonna dry out their, your skin and make it itchy. I know, uh, but I'm still gonna give it a try because alcohol is, alcohol is also known for enabling a better penetration into the skin. So if we will now start uh, mixing the zinc and other vitamins into the solution, it's going to enable a better penetration of these ingredients uh, through, through the skin. Now I'm going to add 15 milliliters of alcohol. Again, if you have trouble 
with uh, itchy skin, itchy scalp, dry skin by using products containing alcohol. What I, advi what I would advise you here is to simply apply it only for two, three hours. Okay, maybe four hours and then wash it out, apply some natural oils, uh, coconut oil, olive oil to moisturize the scalp. You know, this is something that I can advise you. Uh, so 15 milliliters of ethyl alcohol. All right, guys, we have 15 milliliters of alcohol added. We have 45 milliliters of distilled water added and now we will start adding our zinc and our vitamin B6. Here is also peppermint oil which I am maybe gonna add just because I like the smell of it. Alright guys, so now the bottle should have 60 milliliters which it has. Now we will add 150 milligrams of zinc and if you buy any zinc sulfate supplements so you will need to use more capsules of zinc sulfate to, to come on 150 milligrams of zinc of pure zinc. So here is my pure zinc uh, from my supplement which I needed to crush uh, because uh, the, the pills are very hard and I needed to make it uh, a soft powder. So here it is again 150 milligrams of soft powdery zinc. Okay. Okay guys, the finer the powder is the better because the better it will be dissolved in uh, in this solution. Uh, also I advise always uh, before you apply it shake it really well so it's gonna be dissolved or mixed with all the ingredients because I think uh, quite a good portion of this zinc and later vitamin B6 will start sitting uh, at the bottom at, and it will not be dissolved. So before you apply it make sure you shake it very well and then uh, start massaging it into, into your scalp immediately. After 150 milligrams of zinc we will add 150 milligrams of uh, bi vitamin B6 but make sure you also use the active form the active form of vitamin B6 is P5P. P5P will be converted from your vitamin B6 after you consume it in your liver. So your liver converts vitamin B6 into more potent active form P5P. So we will use the P5P uh, form immediately in this topical solution. Uh, so, we'll, so it will be more potent, okay? As the study suggested that zinc together with vitamin B6 can be even more efficient in inhibiting 5-alpha reductase. So I'm going to be using here 150 milligrams of vitamin B6 uh, in its P5P form. Okay, one capsule has about 40 milligrams, so four capsules it's going to be 160 milligrams, so that should be fine. Okay, now it looks quite like a nice smoothie, like a green smoothie. That's how it should look like also. You know, it's like a nice yellowish, greenish color. I don't know if you can see it guys, but it looks very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, that's the solution. Now what you can do, you can put it in your old Rogaine or Minoxidil bottle uh, with uh, the one milliliter, milliliter dropper, which you will be using to take the liquid and put it onto your scalp. Uh, there were also some questions about whether you can use some spray. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm also worried about that it's going to clog especially the small particles of vitamin B6 and zinc uh, can clog this pipe here which will not be able to deliver enough of liquid after a while. So I'm gonna stay with a old school dropper, one milliliter dropper. I'm gonna put the links on Amazon for US guys, for UK guys and for all the guys in Germany who are also watching. Uh, you can buy the distilled water, alcohol, you can buy zinc and vitamin B6 
links in its active form P5P from Amazon if you use my links in the description below. That way I get also commission and this is also a nice opportunity for you to support my channel so I'm going to be really happy about that if you use my links. If not, well, you can get your gear elsewhere but make sure you mix it in this way. Uh, and I can already see the layer which uh, built up at the bottom of the liquid. It's a white powdery layer. Uh, it's the vitamin B6 together with zinc. So again, before we use it, shake it, shake it very well. You should see a foam at the top, you know, and then you will immediately take the liquid with a dropper and put it on. By the way, this formula is also known as Zix for all the guys uh, who are interested, like, hey, how will we call this solution? Well, uh, the guy already uh, called it like Zix. And so it's basically like topical zinc solution together with uh, the active form of vitamin B6 to boost the uh, effects of zinc on inhibiting 5-alpha reductase. So this is basically it guys. Again, if you want to make it smell more nicely, I can imagine that we could add there a couple drops of vitamin uh, uh, peppermint oil. Maybe just two, three, two or three drops. It doesn't need to be more. I'm going to show you how to apply it, how I use it and how I feel after I applied it, how my hair feels like. Can I style my, my hair immediately after I use it? Well, uh, check out my next video, guys. That was it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoyed watching it. Uh, don't forget to get my free ebook in the description below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, that was Matt Dominance with an untraditional video of mixing up a topical solution for blocking 5-alpha reductase and also DHT which you can literally prepare at home and I'm curious about your experience in case you want to start it. Again, it's not a medical advice. I don't encourage you to try it out. It's just what I want to try out and I'm just showing you how I do it and what's going to happen. So uh, again guys, take care and see you in the next video. Hey, I'm Matt and I'm your hair transplant advisor who will help you find the best hair transplant clinic in any selected price range. Do you want to skip hours of extensive hair transplant research and avoid spending thousands of dollars on a bad hair transplant? Well, I'm here to equip you with the best piece of hair transplant advice you can get and help you achieve the most natural, long-lasting hair transplant result.